a mom of seven, and I'm 33. Okay. With being a mom of seven, do you think that a woman of um, multiple children is still capable of finding someone? First, let me ask you before I make the statement. Do the kids have the same father? Yes, they do. Okay, well, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Okay. So this is a little, hold on. We're talking about seven children, okay? This is no offense to you because that's, there's, it's absolutely possible for you to find a quality man. What makes it a tad bit difficult is that you have to find a man who has the financial footing to take care of you and seven children. And then you also have to be able to find a man who is going to be willing to come in and create structure in that household. Seven children on one person is a lot to create structure in. So there's a lot that this man is gonna have to come in and do. On top of that, creating a secure space for you. When you have to be a mother and you have to take care of most of the majority of the things that happen in a house, are you gonna have the ability to be able to love this man in a way that he needs to be loved in a way that registers as love to him when you have to love seven other individuals? You're going to need a man who can love those children as his own. Yep. That is a huge responsibility to put on a person who does not have those children, those are not his kids. Right. But I, if I were you, no disrespect, I'll try to work it out with the, with the father. No, no, here Didn't we are. I say send hold it on, Boy, she did not want to hear that in the end. She didn't want to hear that. You got seven kids from one man, which is very commendable. You feel me? I can, that is admirable. I can pop my collar and salute that all day and take my hat off and my glasses off and salute her for that. And yes, I do need a haircut, so don't be hot. Don't be, don't be picking, don't be making fun of me. But when you got seven kids, bro. It's already bad enough for a lot of guys out here that are step parents that do take the responsibility in taking care of kids that's not theirs because they understand the package deal that, hey, if I'm with the mother, I understand that these kids, I can't look at them no other, no differently, especially if they own that as ain't around. But baby, seven kids, thank God they come from one man, but I'ma just be funky. As a man, if I gave you seven kids, I'm going to feel like that box is mine forever. It don't matter if you leave me for 15 years, 20 years. I'm going to always feel like that's mine. When I done stamp seven, not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, but seven. I done stamp you seven times. That's mine forever. And any man, I'm gonna be honest with you, any man that signed up for that type of program, especially if you ain't got no kids of your own, well, hell, I don't know which one is worse. I don't know if it's worse if you already got kids and you go into it, or if you just ain't got none to love on your own. So you say, you know what, I'm gonna start my own little family because I ain't been able to make none. But I'm sure the average woman or the average guy would not want their brother to take on this type of situation. If we gotta keep it a hundred thousand while well, that is extreme simp behavior. And even though any man that take on that type of responsibility deserves all the praise in the world, for real, because you didn't have to do that. That's just not the lick. That ain't the way to go, man. That is just not the way to go. And I, I feel bad for saying this because I, I don't like saying that people don't have a shot in life. But as far as her, I'm not saying that she can't get no play, but Lord have mercy. I feel like her genuine marriage days are over with. For real, I really think they're, I think it's over with. I think it's gonna take for them kids to be about grown for her to get what she's looking for. This right here is a tough situation, man. What y'all think about this right here, man?